this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to share a little uh, picture of how we feel when life feels like it's cheating us, when we wonder, when is our day coming? What's wrong with me? Why am I so ugly? Why am I so stupid? What's wrong? What's going on? How come I can never get mine? Am I never going to get anything in life? Am I always going to watch others get theirs while I have to wait and wait and wait? Well, here's a nice cute one for you. Check this out and I hope that it really blesses you because it blessed me when the Lord gave this parable to me check this out consider the palm tree I am so tired of wallowing in the dirt and mud I'm sick of these creepy crawly insects gnawing at me too what are you looking at? Those weeds always making fun of me because I'm so short. I'm probably the shortest thing in the whole yard. I hate that. Even the grass has me beat. Why didn't God make me like those weeds? They grow up so fast. That's so cool. Ouch, hey, look where you going. Why doesn't that beetle and his gang hang out somewhere else? Here we go again. Teach your dog how to use the toilet, lady. Do I look like a dumpster to you? Why is he always taking a dump near me? I don't want to smell that mess. Pew, that stinks. Oh, crap. They say it's supposed to rain. Here comes the mud. See, that's why I want to be tall, like those rose bushes over there. At least they can see over the fence. Hmm. Those red roses are always making eyes at the yellow ones next door. What a bunch of flirts they are. That's disgusting. Where's your class? Oh, man, it's been two years. And all that time, it seems like my legs are growing, but they're growing the wrong way. They're getting deeper and deeper. I guess I'll never grow up. I have to sit here and watch all the other plants outgrow me. That's not fair. That, does, that doesn't make me feel good. Well, at least I don't have to deal with that stinky dog. I sure am glad they moved. I'm four years old, and I can barely see over the fence. If those roses weren't so tall, I could see down the street maybe. All these years, and I'm still the short one in the bunch. Mm. I get so tired of the roses making fun of me. The weeds, they don't last long, but they're meaner to me than the roses are. What's wrong with me? Am I retarded or deformed or something? I'm so tired of being laughed at. That stuff hurts, you know. Oh, great. Rub it in, why don't you? Whose big idea was it to buy cactus trees? That sure is cold. They're already taller than me. Now I guess they'll join in on the chorus. Hmm, and starting on me, too. I really hate myself. Everybody gets theirs but me. Why am I always last? I'm the last to grow, the last to see over the fence, the last to look into the windows, like that oak tree, and the last to get any respect around here. Nobody notices me. I might as well be invisible. God, why am I so ugly? Why does everybody treat me so mean? I'm so tired of having my feelings hurt. Nobody likes me. I feel all alone. Nobody looks like me either. I feel like a freak in my own yard. Miss Sally always comes out and gives the roses all her attention. She talks to them like they're real people. She never speaks to me. She tells them how pretty and beautiful they are. She doesn't even look my way. Wow, I must really be ugly. I'm probably the ugliest thing in the yard. 
I wish I could disappear or die or something. Well, I guess I'm supposed to be alone for the rest of my life. If that's my lot in life. Could you tell them to stop saying such cruel things to me, Lord? It hurts to be put down all the time, and that really gets old. I know I'm ugly. I just have to learn to accept that. But could you make them stop? I really don't like it when they talk to me like that way. Woo! Woo, what's happening to me? All of a sudden, I'm starting to crow so fast. Woo! I think I'm feeling dizzy. Whoa! Is is that Miss Is that Miss Sally in the window? I can see into her house. I never thought that would ever I would ever get to to this point. I am six years old. All of a sudden, I'm growing in leaps and bounds. Wee! I like this. <laughs> Lord, who knew? Oh my goodness, I can see down the street. Is that a car? Look at all the other houses. I thought this was all there was. Look at this. I'm the tallest in the yard now. Wow. How did that happen? I know one thing. If they're making fun of me, I can't hear them from way up here. Ooh, is that the roof? I'm growing so fast it's making my palms spin. Look, there are so many birds up here. I can even hear their wings flapping. I have grown so much. I can even see over the street lights. The whole block looks up to me. This is a dream come true. Seven years now, and I'm the tallest thing on the whole block. I'm not ugly either. I am tall, dark, and handsome. Get a load of me. I'm closer to God now. He does love me. I can see so clear. Thank you, Lord. I'm so happy now. You didn't forget about me. Wait, what's that I hear? How do you two? You sure are cute. What street do you live on? Look at that, I have a friend now. I like her. I'm not alone anymore. She seems to like me too. We're the same height and she's a palm tree like me. I like being a palm tree. I wouldn't want to be anything else. I like being me. Thank you, Lord, for making me a palm tree. Being a palm tree is so cool. It's the bomb. <laughs> I'm stopping there. The chapter doesn't end, but it's food for thought. When we feel like it's over for us, when we feel like we're getting the short end of the stick and we're never going to see our day come, guess what? There's another thing coming, baby. Everything comes in its time. God calls it the fullness of time. So don't lose heart. Don't, don't get down on yourself. Don't get frustrated with God because he's not in a hurry. Some things take long to grow. Weeds grow and die and grow and die and grow and die. Palm trees last and last and last. There's nothing about a weed that a palm tree should be jealous of. There is nothing about that person or that person that you should be jealous of. Love who you are. You have no idea. You don't see the whole package yet. God knows all that he put in you. So baby, stretch your stuff. Get happy that God loves you. And he made something beautiful out of your life. And when he created you, you were wonderfully and beautifully made. Because you were made in the love of God. You can't get any better than that. 
It's what you choose to do with it that counts. What do you plan to do with that? Hmm?